All right, so it's time to take a look at how to customize the mixer in FL Studio. So here we have the mixer section. You can open it up on this button here, and um, you will see that there are different uh, mixer sections here, mixer tracks. And uh, if you go to this section here, you can choose to have them in a wide mode, which will look like this, like it is like right now. You can also go to compact, which will make all of these mixer tracks very slim, as you can see. And um, the positive way of doing this is that you can see a big overview of your track. So if you have a lot of mixer tracks inside of your song or your project, you will see all of these tracks here. So besides of just getting a big overview of, of your tracks here, you can also change the volumes, you can pan, you can enable disable, you can also see all of the sounds that co comes out of all of the tracks here. Uh, you can do a lot of things here, you can root, you can do basically everything uh, as you would do in the wide uh, mode here. So you can also go to compact 2 which will make them just a tiny bit bigger. Uh, and compact alt which will just um, get rid of all of the names here and put them on this side instead then we have wide 2 which will make them a lot wider so you can basically see different data here that you couldn't before and uh, wide 3 will obviously make them even wider and same thing goes here with the alternative there there is also an extra large section as you can see and now you can also see the different plugins that every single track has here inside of um, yeah basically inside of every uh, separate mixer channel and um, what you can do here to customize these different mixer tracks is to go to this section here and uh, go to view and you can see waveforms is the first one so if we play this track now you will see the db meter here on all of the different tracks So you can now see the db meters of all of the different tracks. So instead of having the db meter, we can go and choose waveforms. So what this will do now is to, uh, instead of having the db meters there, we will see the waveforms of each and every track. So this is a very nice way to visualize the different uh, sound outputs that comes from each and every mixer channel. The next thing we have here is view and names at top. So now you can see the names here in the mixer channels are set in the lower section of um, this kind of uh, name section of the mixer channel strip here. So if we go to names at top, you can see that every names, every, every single name here basically goes up so they starting from the top and goes down basically. So this is a very um, slight difference in how you can see the names in the mixer channels. So we go to views and routing cables. So now you can see all of the different routings that you did with the cables. So you can just basically hide them like that. So you don't see the cable, but the, your channels are still routed. So um, you don't like get rid of any functionality or something like that. Uh, you just basically get rid of the uh, vis visible cable. All right, so the next thing we have here is the track inspector on left side. Compact plugin list is a very, very small thing. Uh, it's barely noticeable in the mixer section, so I would not go through that. But this is a very uh, interesting thing to have, and uh, it's to set the track inspector on left side. So the track inspector is uh, basically at the mixer section, where you can see all of different plugins, a bit of EQ here, um, yeah, and just basically it. So instead of having this track inspector here on the right side, you can have it set on the left side. This is what I prefer, um, just because it seems like all of the different menus that I'm using throughout the OS and throughout different apps always have their menus kind of on the left side. And uh, you can see the same thing here goes with the browser. The browser where you can choose different stuff is also set on the left side. So 
I always see it like this, that I always want my creative brain kind of side of my brain to be on the right side. And then when you're just choosing different stuff and files and plugins, stuff like that, you want it set on the left side. Same thing goes actually with the channel rack. You have the selection of different instruments on the left side and then the creative side on the right, right hand side. So if you go to view here and go to track inspector on left side, now you will see it will be on the left side. So that's a very nice thing to have as well. But some of you pre prefer to have it on the right side, and this is just how I prefer to have it. So, um, yeah, but it's nice to know that you can do that as well. Thing we have in the mixer section is the color for mixer. And this is very nice as well, because if we put it on off, now you can see this is how the mixer section usually uh, looks like. And so um, you can color the different channel strips so you can let's say that i want to color this one i can just go to change color and basically uh, set my color for it but it will only set the color for the upper section here and not the whole channel strip so how do you do it you basically go to the view section color for mixer and now you can choose different kind of um, color section or color selection here you can choose how much of the different colors you want, basically. So how big of a difference between the colors of the mixer channel strips. So if I go to a low setting, you can see now that um, there are colors between the groups here set. And uh, they're pretty good right now. But if I go to, let's say, color for mixer and put it on high, now you will see the colors are much more prominent here. So you can you can really see the difference between the colors. And for some of you, including me, uh, this is nice to have because I can really see what's going on now uh, between the tracks. I can really see the difference between the drum section and, for instance, the vocal section. So I really recommend you to work with the view and color for mixer and on the high selection here want to show you in the view section here is something called alternative mixer highlighting so what it, does this do you can see if i select one of the dif different uh, mixer channel strips here you can see it's selected basically uh, you can see it on the on the numbers here or on the, at the digits that it gets white the text of the digits gets white you can also see that the volume meter here goes kind of green here and uh, gets like a line around it and uh, if we go and choose the alternative mixer highlighting you can now see that this track is more kind of highlighted you can see it now gets kind of like a square at the digits instead of like highlighting the digits so um that is the only difference between this setting and if you don't have that setting on. Uh, I prefer it personally because now I can really see what track I'm at and uh, I can also see different numbers here. So if I go back to how it is the, per default, you can see um, the numbers here is getting a bit dark here. So uh, I just like it to, to be more kind of visible here uh, between all of the numbers in the mixer section. 